right, let's go straight into the subspace emissary. Um, it's usually like eight to ten hours long. We got four hours in last time. I'm gonna go there, thank you very much. Time for Meta Knight and the Ice Climbers. And, uh, where am I going? Way down here. And we did four hours last time, so about four or five hours today. Might be six. I've, I plan to stop at two. But I might not need to stop until 7. I'm probably not going to stop at 7. I'm probably going to go like till 3 or 4 at latest. So let's dive in. So do excuse me when I occasionally move the microphone. It's just how I do things on the stream to see everything. And yeah, we'll see the cutscene again. Why not? Climb as it is. Same decision as last time. I need to remember the controls again. It seemed to jump not up. I mean, up is right, but it's not very good. And I can please join me a little bit. Ah, oh, so first of all, I can't see. There we go. Um, <laughs> I'm doing good, aren't I? These primates have one eye, don't they? I see this right. Yeah, they do. That's weird. Huh. But no, um. I'd actually be quite uh, interested to play the uh, original Ice Climbers game. There's only one, right? Ice Climbers isn't like a giant franchise, is it? As far as I'm aware, I don't think so. But no, I don't know. It's uh, It was one of those things I wanted to do for like 80s October until I realized... Or 90s November, I can't remember which one it is. Probably 80s October. Yeah, that makes sense. But no, I don't know. It, uh, I don't think I've seen anyone really play it ever. I'm not sure about that. But no, I don't know. It was an idea I had at one point. And then for whatever reason, they just never came to be. I am not good. You should know this. Where is this? We're too high. I want to go to the item, please. It's not going to let me. All right. Also, I'm really not used to this setup right now because I'm still not quite able to... I can see the game, but I don't... I'm like very diagonal to it to keep my mouth at the microphone. So I'm going to need a moment to like adjust myself. I'll probably do it in the... No, I'm going to do it now. Walk out. How did I do this before? I can't remember how I did it. Because now I can't see half the screen. Go me. Get me in the barrel. In the barrel. Okay. Let me sort out. Where do I put... How do I sort this out? Where do I put this? Like that, I guess. That works. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. I can just avoid everybody. Ugh. I still don't get how that gives me any vertical height. I guess it's supposed to be a, a horizontal thing. I don't know. Anytime you played Ice Climbers was on the GameCube for Animal Crossing. That's pretty cool. I had um, the GameCube Animal Crossing game, I think. No, I didn't. I had the Wii... The Wii one? I think I had the Wii one, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. So I didn't actually get to play the original. I never would have played the original games on it anyway. Well, I just... I didn't remember that I didn't. But I do remember um, I called myself Daz on it. Because, hey, that's always been my name. Pretty much. And, um... Uh, it was one of the penguin animals. I don't remember who it was. I don't know his name. But he was like... Daz, huh? That's quite a mouthful. And I was like, no, it's not. How about I give you the nickname D-Man? And I'm like, that's a longer nickname. <laughs> but alright, sure. And so forever, forevermore he, known, he knew me as D-Man. Not that I actually remember him, so oops. Sorry, buddy. I'd probably recognize him if I saw him. Just the, one of the penguin dudes. Alright, I'll wait for this painfully slow camera, shall I? I guess they couldn't do much if they did add a new Ice Climbers game, could they? And maybe that's why there isn't another one. Ah oh, well. Should have waited. Oh well. Can you play Fox in this? I don't remember playing Fox in this. I guess you must be able to. It has every character, doesn't it? Huh. That's weird to me. 
just had the realization because it's like, who, you know, Ice Climbers isn't in Smash 4 and neither is Wolf. So I was like, no. Do we even play it in this one? But yeah. I'm a little slow. It's been ages since I played this game. <clears throat> Might be able to tell by how bad I do. Wow, the tension was really there. Alright, I guess I'll go in there then. What do we got? Oh wow, okay. That's how you get the height. Oh, I remember this. Why do I, I guess that's why I remember it? I don't know quite why. I just remember remembering this. Aha! Okay, that took a bit of focus, but all right. I'm gonna be so dead. Yeah, look at that. Not a chance. Whoop, whoop. Uh, she, oh, is it Popo and Nana? I remember the second one's Nana. Are we Popo? Is that the thing? I can't remember. I only really remember because of um, the melee challenges you could do. Where am I, where am I going? Up, oh, of course, would be the correct way. I remember there was like a thing. It was like you have to beat. Oh, what even was it? It's like you gotta you gotta defeat Nana, but not Popo. And there's three of them. Something like that. Oh, really? Come on. Please tell me this works on you. Alright, never mind. You know what? I'll just go through the door. It is Popo and Nana. Okay. Whoop. Thank you. Why so many? I'm not quite sure, but okay. Oh. Oh! Wow, I do not remember that. That's really cool, actually. Huh. I like it. Also, we're getting a lot of Animal Crossing stuff today. And Pokemon. Sweet. Thank you very much. I could do with a Nana, but alright. He can do it enough on his own, I guess. The double jump gets him everywhere. Alright. Didn't realize you were that active. Huh. Nice. And also, we're at the top now. But it wasn't a golden door. Ah, whatever. gonna play the new guy. I do love though how Nana and Popo are just like, oh, so perfect. Whoops, all right, ice and tripping, lovely. See, look, why wasn't this a level? I mean, I guess they was at, at already a, uh, an icicle mountain level, but like, I don't know, man, I want more. Also, I am not good at Lucaria, but I'm le better at Lucaria than I am with Meta Knight, I believe. Although he's pretty, I don't know, just sort of basic. He's just like a kung fu guy. Not very in interesting to me. Just kung fu with a little bit of psychic, which, you know, doesn't really translate too much. Um, yeah, not in Smash, not a crazy amount. Like in real life, sure, he'd be blowing my mind with his shadow balls, but like... In this game, he's like, eh? He glows, that's about all he does. You know? Alright, uh, is that a, is this a... I don't remember what that move does, but alright, let me try it. Damn it, I did not know I flew that far forward on ice. Excuse me. Also, I swear I don't. Oh, I do. I didn't the first time, did I? That's weird. Let me just use this move I don't know, please. This is like the only time I've ever played as Lucari as well, like in this story. If I even have, I might just play this Meta Knight instead. Not a crazy fan of Lucario. Is Lucario in Smash? 
I don't know this. Just shows how much pay attention I pay to him. <laughs> that was pretty easy. That last bit, at least. Oh! I didn't even know that! The higher his percentage, the more damage he dishes. Oh, I, I, uh, I didn't even knew this. He is in Smash 4. Okay, I might consider playing him then if he gets harder as he hurt him. I'm gonna save, thank you very much. How far have we gotten now? Ooh, 21 saves, nice. To the canyon. Where did the ice climbers end up? So I guess it's a good thing that the Pokemon trainer didn't go up there because he probably would have tried to catch Lucario and that would not have gone well. Uh, let's be Link for a bit, <laughs> as bad as I am. And then a little bit of Pit, and then a little bit of Mario, and a little bit of Yoshi. See you later after breakfast, Debbie. Alright, this Link, I think that's also my problem is this Link just feels a bit different to what I'm used to. Maybe I'm just used to Smash for him? Is he that different? I don't know. He just feels very different to me. I'm not used to, like, I don't know. I can't actually explain it. Or maybe it's just the difficulty gets to me. Please hold on to something, Link. Should have been Lucario if he takes this much more. Lucario would be really good for kind of stages then, these platform stages. Huh. Okay, that works pretty effectively. Why does it always go to the enemy that doesn't doesn't become a trophy? All right, other night guy. Oh, it's the other half of the anime. Come on. I'll admit, as much as I like um, Pit having a voice actor in like Kid Icarus, and, like Uprising and all that, wasn't a big fan of how much he talked in Smash or like his trailers. I was like, oh, I get it. It's 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 Pit. He, he doesn't have to ramble so much. I mean, I guess that's kind of the character they made of him now, or like the, the theme, but it's still, it's just like, this is Smash, it's kind of supposed to be silent. The Brawl style was silent, and that's how I kind of only, the only way I accept Brawl now, you know? Oh, wow, really? Man, that could have been so good, like a, a vertical killing of that thing. All right, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna focus on the big primates for a bit. Oh, I have to now. Oh, the ball, please. It's the ball I'm focusing on. <sighs> Damn it, of course you can't become one. You'd think a giant primate would kind of be an acceptable trophy, but apparently not. I'll have that cake. Mario deserves it. Yeah, Link is way too heavy and slow. I kind of feel that. Up B doesn't really go that high either. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, it does go a lot higher in me melee, doesn't it? Uh, I would have thought it would because it's quite a floaty game, but no, uh, I guess not. Who knows? Gosh, look at that roster. Onto the battleship Halberd interior. 
with that pointless scene not being so pointless anymore. What did you say? I mean, he mean it, huh? I didn't realize he had such western music, though. <laughs> but yeah, what have you been doing this whole time? Just waiting in the box? Alright. Whatever, whatever floats your boat. Never played Metal Gear. Really want to play the series, but there's a lot to learn, isn't there? Like, there's a, there's a whole lot there is to the series, and... I don't know. I'd have to really spend like a marathon going through it all. Probably with like an expert as well in the chat to <laughs> explain everything that's going on. Because, I don't know. I'd like to play like... Uh, I like I only mostly know the uh, the GameCube game stuff really. Like um, the super famous boss fight that like clicks into your memory card and makes a comment on it. And something else. Something else I know. What is the other thing I know? Oh, I guess it's just like generally Metal Gear... I think it is. Metal Gear Solid 4. I do not want to give it onto a primate. But I guess I have to. Damn it. Alright. There we go. Um, and like how... I don't know. Just the gameplay of it just looked really cool and modern and good. I don't know. Thank you. Also, it's weird because I completely forgot how Snake plays. Like, I've forgotten all his moves. So it's kind of interesting to come back to him. Yeah. Could I, would I be able to make sense of Metal Gear Solid 4 if I'd played none of the others? Or should I really play everything? Like, um, I would, would I have to play the NES game? Although I probably would like to, if I could actually get my hands on the thing. Like, should I? What are people's thoughts? Do I have to play the 3D games only? Alright, I completely forgot what his side B does, but I assume it was a, move, mo a, a missile that I can control? Yeah. There's my memory. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. Thank you. Thank you for the notification. What do we got? It's Isaac. -y. Thank you for the follow. Sorry, uh, I was reading back the chat. So apparently you can enjoy um, Metal Gear Solid 3 without knowing the others. Um, can't just remember when they start going 3D. Is it, is it 3 that does it? I guess it would be. 1, 2, and... Uh, I don't know these things, alright? I quite like enjoying... I quite enjoy playing a snake right now. I think I did play a snake. was one of my mains, actually, I think. Or I just really liked his, his arsenal. Alright. And other people like that with one less uh, syllable. But hey, what do I know? Ugh! There you go, that's the grip button. Oh, what, what is that? Oh, did you just punch him down? Yeah, because I remember seeing gameplay of Metal Gear Solid 4 being like, wow, that's really cool. It looks really realistic and like the the aspect of like camouflaging and like your thing, your suit would automatically camouflage with the ground. The way you could actually like just sort of knock people out or kill them and like, oh, it was just, I don't know. I really liked it. So I might get around to playing the 3D uh, 3D Metal Gear games because, I don't know, I'm really enjoying it. But there's, there's a lot of plot elements like characters that are other characters and like all reveals and all this that I, I know of or I don't know of. I've heard faintly like the comments or like I've, I've been given spoilers but I don't recall them so I guess I didn't really get the spoiler if that makes sense because it just it sounded like a load of mess to me. Um, are there like two, I'm not going to ask, right these questions are rhetorical I kind of don't want spoilers but are there like, are there two ocelots? Because I know there's an ocelot that's like a nerdy friend guy. But then there's also an, another Ocelot, I think, that, like, is your ba is a bad guy at one point or something. And then, like, there's Snake, and then there's, like, Big Snake and Old Snake and Solid Snake and G Grey Hound Snake. God, I, I can't remember. Maybe I'm messing up with uh, Game of Thrones as well. You know, there's a lot. <laughs> Clearly there's a lot I need to learn. Cause, uh, uh, but I would love to play it. The games look fun, so I might, might play, the, make, play the 3D games and... See if I get around to it. Even if I don't understand the plot. Just fun to play that sort of stealth game. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Doom. Gosh, remember that. Yeah, and it has like a moment to come down. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Well, you know what? You can live with an inch of your life. Haha, <laughs> I'm faster. I do like this move, though, actually. That's quite cool. It's just him diving. He's cool. Okay, my, my audio blipped a bit. I've been charging my gamepad for about an hour, so hopefully it will s survive a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, does this count as a physical attack? No, it doesn't. All right. Because it is still a kind of a physical attack, just not a punch. It's not a magic attack. I'm going to be that much. I guess it's a technical attack. I don't know. Flu, you're going to get out of here, please. Oh yeah, the flu bring back their health. That's what I didn't like about them. And also that is pretty devastating. You gone now? Thank you. Tasty. Tasty. I didn't actually hear that last time, but alright. If it's metal, it can deflect projectiles. Okay. Is that the same when you have like a metal box then? Does it deflect? I never noticed that before. Also, am I looking for buttons this whole time? Has that kind of been my thing? Because I, I hadn't... Oh, no. Okay, so we're, we're trying to open these, I think. Is there a button down this way that I missed? Yes, there is. Tasty. That's not quite the time to say tasty, but sure. Yeah, okay. Cool. I guess there's another one up here that I missed. Yeah. There it is. Sweet. See, now I'm in a real Metal Gear mood. Like, yesterday I was in a Metroid mood, and actually, as a kid, those were the two I got confused, because I knew they were both M words that I didn't know. And I was like, which one's which? What's what? I love Metroid, the, the man. I'm referring to Snake, but no. I, I, I picked them up now. Haven't played either. Really want to. Good stuff. All of them. Oh, got it. You. Don't you do it. You did it. It's weird how, like, everyone thought it was so weird that Snake was in the game, but now we've got, like, uh, Ryu and Cloud and everyone in Smash 4, so maybe it wasn't so weird. I wouldn't mind having uh, Snake back, though. He seems like fun. You'll just make me stronger, Auto Lance. Well, <laughs> not when I'm aiming the wrong way. There we go. What do I think of Fallout 4? I love it. I actually got the game when it came out and I had a lot of fun with it. And then, like per usual, after like 30 hours, I was like, all right, I've had enough. Never finished the story. I kind of know what the end of the story is. Well, I know like the reveal, if that's a if that's a thing. Um, because I've been, I was watching someone else play the game. Um, uh, but yeah, I had fun with it. I'm not. I'm not a uh, an interior designer, so my uh, I forgot what they call it. The first area that you're in, where you make a house and everything, and that doesn't look very good at all. I tried to make like a bridge city. It's a bridge city's not very good when you only have two bridges and they're not even connected. So like, ooh. But no, I enjoyed it. It's fun while it lasted. Right, am I looking for switches again, or like, what am I doing here? All right, come over here, buddy. Yeah, yeah, all right. I never noticed. I never knew that metal makes you project, uh, deflect. Shows you how much I know. And also, you can't grab a metal guy. Noted. Actually, do I have to kill you? Do you have something on me? On you? Yes. All right. You are the buttons. Oh, hi. Do I have to kill only the metal stuff? No. Just whatever the guard is. Okay. Doable. Do I have to kill every enemy? It's just here? Is there no specific rooms for them? Alright. No, not every enemy. Okay. Yes, yes, every enemy. 
<sighs> I'm learning slowly. Oh yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna kill yourself on a platform. One more. You can grab the primates there instantly. What now? Oh, I missed it. Instantly thrown. Oh. Okay. What are you doing? You having fun there? Actually, I remember doing this a lot. What was that for Mewtwo? I cannot remember. Nagagog, get out of here. Thank you. There we go. I'm sure I'm see if I can do it sideways only, but yes, I can. Sorry, I'm still learning Lucario because I play so little of him. I think I've given up on Mennonite completely. I played a lot of him, to be fair, in like the ruins and running up to this, so whatever. Okay, let's see how this goes. Double Dark Princess, huh? Damn it, I thought I had a feeling that just wasn't going to hurt me. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. Oh, wow. That also hurts. Noted. Alright, all the explosions go on me. That's alright then. So where are my partners? Alright, down an A doesn't work on them. And they're taunting me. Thank you. Alright, what is this move? What does it do? Is it just a knockback move? Come on, Lucari, you can start doing a bit more damage now. You're at 70. Thank you, tripping. Goodbye, Lucario. This ain't gonna go well, is it? Well, then again, they're both up like 100, so yeah, they're doable now. Oh yeah, Meta Knight can counter, I forget about this. I just want to do a, a counter move, please. Can I do that? I just want that satisfaction. Or am I just dodging moves? Am I dodging moves? This is a, yeah, it's Meta Knight can counter, right? Oh, you know what? I guess he's not going to this time. That's not a that's not a smash attack. Thank you. Okay, his counter's more like a teleport. Interesting. Oh yes. Metal Knight. Huzzah, the princesses are back. And now we've got a second row. Perfect. I was going to say it's interesting the order they put the character lines, but it's not that interesting. Sheep.
Time for tea. Let's play a chic. I'd also be interested to see like if there was if we could ever get what the statistics are of what characters everyone chose for each thing. Like I imagine most people chose Sheik over Peach for this level, but I could be wrong, you know. Ugh. Can we move please? This wind is actually kind of annoying. Ugh. It's also gonna be a, a, a pointless scene, isn't it? This is just running along the side of the thing. It's all story, it's not actually a level. Well, I guess it, it's kind of got some platforming I've got to worry about. Like, that literally killing me because the wind pushed me just a tiny bit too far to the left. Ah. Did I just die on that one level? Is it a wrong room level? It's not. Okay, then I don't feel too bad anymore. You can't just go running and jumping at girls, Mike. It's not very nice. Not very ladylike. Not that you're a lady, but... Well, you might be, actually. A very green lady. I'm not going to judge. Why would I want that? Thank you. Education. Oh, now I can dodge all your guns. Oh, come on. That should totally blow them up. Um, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. I was not looking at the screen for a moment there, excuse me. Oh, I love this weapon. Except it doesn't actually deflect. There we go. Nope, that didn't hit the thing. Is that why they're giving us so many guns so we can fight these all the time? Okay. That was just like stickers, I guess. No, I wanna I wanna shoot! Right, what flame does this one start? That was not the thing I was, I was trying to do Toad. I forgot that's just normal B, but oh well. Okay, so it opens the door for a moment. Gotcha. Thank you. Hacha! I do not remember this. This is a little bit creepy. Are they cloning everyone? I also don't remember that enemy down there. Looks like a Pokemon more than anything. All right, spooky. I mean, I guess they do. Huh? Yeah, they do kind of come out of the dark particles. All right. This is just, I guess, the factory of everything. Why does a uh, why does Midnight ship even have the capabilities of holding this kind of facility? Like, what were they? What was Meta Knight using the ship for before it got overrun by the bad guys? Huh? Also, I've got so much knockback, I could just knock you off the stage. Or I can just go myself. You know what? That's okay, too. Right, you are available for trophies? Yes, you are. Thank you. Puppets. You're a good puppet guy. Is it stuck? Seriously? Come on. Come on. Get out here. I'm over here. Thank you. Animist. Alright. That's a good that was a good battle. I'm glad we had that. <laughs> Why? That sounds like a clip to me, which I just discovered after my last stream. I was like, what are all these clips? Who did these? Why are there so many? As you can tell, I have a lot to learn about Twitch. But hey, if you make a clip, I may very well uh, like post it up on Twitter or maybe like as a, a tiny little YouTube highlight. So I highly recommend doing it because I'll probably make things out of it. Why not?
you make content of me, I'll share it around. So, same as what I do with um, any fan art I get. And I've yet to get a remix or anything like that, but if I ever did, I'd absolutely share that. Because why, why wouldn't I, you know? We're all narcissists on the inside? Is that the point I was trying to make? I don't know. Also, where did, where did big guy go? It doesn't matter. Right, so much food, it's spicy sometimes. There you go, now I'm not dealing with any of this fire. Alright, now I am. Yes! I got the mites! Probably one of the hardest ones to actually get on a trophy. Thank you. You can defeat yourself. I've never actually had Toad work before. I always tried to get it to work in melee and it never did. I think there's a challenge where you have to defeat everyone with only Toad, right? Or something like that. You have to deflect everything. Or they deflect everything? I can't remember. Oh man, that's totally an idea for a stream. Going through all the... Uh, well, maybe not. I was going to say going through all the challenges in melee, but... Gosh, that's hard. So maybe not. We'll see. Thank you, Low Bunny, I think it is. Didn't know you existed back in the Brawl days. Oh. Peach is genuinely really good in Smash. Yeah, they try to they try and get that girl power in. It's time for the T scene after all. Oops, I don't know my Pokemon. You know what I meant. The Red Background. That's what I've been referring to this whole time. Didn't you know? Every fox's weakness. Royalty. <laughs> you seen Robin Hood? Case on point right there. Or case in point right there. I need to stop saying case and point. Wow, that's a lot of people suddenly. What changed? Who did they add? Oh, yeah. I guess Peach and Zelda? Hmm. Time for the bridge! <laughs> no one cares about the giant collaboration down on the ground. I do like how Peach is just setting herself up. Right, uh, who would be good for this? Uh, Fox for a start, because we ain't played as him in ages. Wait, wait. I don't even remember where Fox was last. Wasn't Fox and Falcon with Diddy Kong? What happened there? Gosh, I'm not paying attention. Oops. I'm sorry, I, I did that when I was doing my filmmaking video on it. I will go with more of the same people I know. Sure. Works now. I can do my my your my uh, Rayquaza attack. Don't mind me. All right, you can shoot beams through yourself. Noted. Okay, I also don't want to stand on this platform. Apparently, maybe I had a tiny bit of knockback. I didn't realize. Oh man, if those rockets hit himself, that would have been perfect. I don't think they do though. I 
That's a lot of shots you got there. Oh man, I just fought them off with my own gun. That's awesome. Whoops. Yep, bye-bye. Gosh, we're in the 70s of deaths? I'm sorry. I can't zoom in. Yes, it is a bigger one. Cool. Damn it. I thought I could get through that. Yeah! Also, uh, how's the quality doing? I made on the of the actual stream. I made a slight adjustment, but then also turned something back down, so things might be a little off. It's a bit blocky. I might change something else again. I got a lot of land, but it, it's at least passable, I think, from the judges, of, like from what I can tell from everyone else. Okay, so we got uh, Mr. Gamer Watch with us now, and someone else who I wasn't paying attention to. Um, who's missing? Who's there? I'm blind. I'm a bit blind. And Falco. That's the one. And I guess Fox wasn't? I don't know. Right! The subspace bomb factory! Back on over to another little island. Okay, stream looks good. I'll keep it at that then. Uh, let's play Samus. Oops. Don't mind me. Nope. Hold on. I can do this better. A single rob shouldn't be taking out me. I shouldn't be on 70 damage already. Also, though, we've already done a level like this. But I guess we can do more. That was an intense level. Or room, I guess. Now, I remember this music being downloaded up from me. Not sure why I chose this one, but apparently I liked it as a kid. Yeah, I got this. I got this out ages ago, like 14 years old, I think I was. Gosh, that's weird. Maybe 15. No, no, it probably was 14. By 15, I was well into Pikmin again. I think I got it. This, yeah, I got this like when I was still in my Call of Duty phase. Can we like not? Thank you. Right, no enemies that way. I just want to get this trophy on someone. Come on, buddy. Yeah, perfect. Boom! I think I also remember playing Samus quite a bit on Melee. That was good times. Ooh. I also really liked how... Um, oh, hello! Suddenly changed me music. Um, I just remember the, the days of my childhood when playing Melee that um, I would play four-player with, with three of my cousins at the same time, or like whenever I visited. And it was a real fun time. Like, I really liked those days. I should probably contact those con cousins again. It's been a little while. I just killed myself. Oh, well, I wanted to play Pikachu anyway. A little bit. Rob, can you stop? Thank you. And... You can get out of here. Big A! Alright. Nope. Also, you can only do. You can't do less than four bullets? Like a, oh, no, yeah, you can. So I got a one up again. Not quite sure how, but alright. Nope. Yeah, see, that's four. And I just pressed it really quick. Alright. I don't have the best aim, apparently. Good job I'm not going back to Call of Duty. 
Though World War II did kind of slightly tempt me, but Battlefield seems to be playing the story better. It was the story that was interesting me anyway, not the actual online. I've had enough of that. Literally, I think, 12 days of gameplay online on Call of Duty. At least Modern Warfare 2. Like, legitimately, uh, what's that, an over 240 hours on the online of Call of Duty. I played it a lot as a kid. It was my emo phase, as I call it. The phase of swearing, angrily being just, well, just angry all the time. Playing games topless and moody. Swearing at people and playing Call of Duty. It was... I mean, yeah, sure, it was fun, but I'm not going back to it. Right, uh, I want to continue on that other elevator for a moment, in a minute. Let me get the, rid of this guy first. Thank you. Before I get lost. Oh no, this is the bottom. Okay, makes sense. In that case, I can keep going normally. I'm keeping an eye out on my, my geography. <sighs> to be fair, actually, I, I probably would still play topless. The topless bit I don't <laughs> care about. But there's a there's a pick me um, that basically just sums up my entire like early teens, where it's just me um, in my old bedroom playing Call of Duty or something online. I'm like um, I'm topless. I turn around to the camera like I'm, I've got like a really gross like lean forward in my chair. Like I'm very invested in the game, but I'm like turning to the camera and have like the most disgusted face on me where I'm just like, why are you filming me? I'm playing my game. And I'm just like, that's, that's, that's my emo phase. 13 to 14 years old. It didn't last long. It was only a two years, but still, it was enough, you know? Might have only been, no, it was two years. One and a half. Um, yeah. And then it all stopped when I watched that one Nintendo conference at E3. And Pikmin 3 was there and it all changed from then. Pikmin 3 literally changed my my life, huh? Wow, that's a weird thought. Although I guess I already knew that with the whole YouTube thing. I'm not gonna post that pic on Twitter. I might post another one where I'm like, not as disgusted, I'm just like, you can see me invested or something. We'll, s we'll see, maybe I'll forget this whole conversation, but no. Some people have emo phases where they dye their hair black and make their hair really, really long, which was me last Halloween, but hey, it was for a costume. But no, me, me, it was, I hate everyone, I'm gonna play Call of Duty, oh, no, no, no. I didn't sound like I was having a stroke all the time, but maybe I did, I don't know. Not the E3 conference with Amiibo Festival, the, the, the one with, the E3 2012. Unless that was a joke, in which case, excuse me for my lack of ability to take jokes. I'm dumb, sometimes. Sometime. Oh my. Okay. I want to play as Onomar a little bit more. So, like, just get out of my way. Thank you very much. Um, you are going to deflect my Pikmin back at me, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay. Thank you. No! Ah. Oh. So, uh, I've got a little bit of an, an unfair complaint about Onomar in this game. I don't like the sound effect of his Pikmin, or anything really of his sound effects. I don't like how they're not the actual sound effects. Like, whenever I hear, like, um, when it, there have been times where I've tried to look up the Pikmin sound effects, like for, I don't know, text tones or something like that, and I'm always like, I don't want the Brawl ones, I hate the Brawl ones, or the, the Smash ones. I don't like this, it's too low pitched. I just, I don't know. It's, it's un, it's un, I don't know. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Not unrewarding, because it's not supposed to be rewarding, but unsatisfying to me. I don't like the sound effects of this Onoma and his Pikmin. Nor do I like the physics of whatever that was. Alright, monkey it is. In Smash 4 it's better? I don't remember his sound effects in Smash 4. Maybe. I have to have a look again. I have to play Smash 4, which we'll probably do next week. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. Uh, next week, when we do the the eight-hour stream, we'll do like maybe not four hours of Smash um, online, but we'll play some Smash online at the very least because I really enjoy that. And hey, I could always do with playing a bit more of the, the Smash game that I've paid a lot of money for and haven't played a ton of. Oh, 
get me out of here. Thank you. That was just pure luck. That was. Wow, you have quick reaction time to that shooting, huh? And you're just perfectly timed for everything I try to do now. Thank you. Nope. I'm trying to dodge. Thank you. No, I don't want to do the tail thing, Diddy Kong. I only pressed it three times. I mean, maybe that was the key it needs to do it, the tail thing, but still. All right, I guess I'm not on that platform. So, there are four taunts, right? Do I have to, like, how do I get the other two? Because I've only got one and two to do the taunts, like the buttons one and two. So, like, oh, well. Thank you. Don't need it because I already died, but thank you anyway. Is there something way up high? Nope. Right, not going through that platform either. There are three taunts. Okay. All right, I didn't think I was in range of you, but I'll accept it now. I, I'm not gonna work out this this uh, taunt button. Not with the camera keep moving. Oh. Oh! I didn't know. Oh, yes, I did know that. The A button's always been the A button. Never mind, I'm being dumb. Am I the buttons? Minus? It's not plus. Not both. You know what? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just not a thing on the Wiimote nunchuck setup. Oh, I know. Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. I thought I'd have to. I thought I'd be able to just go right through. Excuse my ignorance. Gotta admit though, I do like playing Captain Falcon a fair bit. He's nowhere near a main to me, but he's fun. Alright. Cool. Red it is. I made a big mistake by not breaking everything. Great. Good to know. Thank you. Uh, did I not get the blue or is it this way? I guess it's this way. Oh my god, Captain Falcon, this damage, I'm liking it. Sweet. Okay. Why are mites always around the switches? What does this mean? What's the lore behind this? Yes, I knew it. Don't know how I knew that, but I've never been here before, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, this is cool. It's also funny because I thought only Mario could wall jump in the game, so maybe that's why I never tried it. There we go. Had to be an A button, not a B button. Oh, it's a Gardevoir! One, two, one, and two. That's what I'm doing! I'm pressing one. Oh, do you mean like. Wait, like. One, two? Because I'm pressing both at the same time, and it's not doing it. Nope. Two, one. Yeah, and it's not doing it. That, that third taunt just ain't a thing. Not on, not on this controller. Sorry, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. I remember this. Why do I remember this? Huh. Maybe it's because I died beforehand. I think I remember even doing this Donkey Kong and just doing this. Huh. Odd. Okay. Because I don't remember the switches or any of that, but alright. I'm also surprised that I got through this game because there's a lot of actual like mini puzzles and going back of yourself that I don't think I would have... I don't think I did that as a kid, I just sort of went. But apparently I, I knew enough. Death 77. I'm sure that's a lucky number, right? I just killed himself. Great. Oh, there's something up there. Oh, I'm gonna get there anyway.
Thank you for the switch. What's over this way? Oh, it's a it's a present. Oh, we got a we got a notification. Thank you, the spring, Springer, the Springer for the follow. I muchly appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Once again, I'm still a little not lost, but I'm never aware if they're uh, if they're um, they know me from YouTube and are just showing up like a day late, or if you're actually a new guy on Switch. Uh, Switch. Well, you might be a new guy on Switch, but also a new guy on Twitch. That's like, oh, I like this guy. It's, it's, it's almost like a nice, almost blissful ignorance. It's like, ah, oh, someone likes me. Don't know if they liked me before, but they at least... Or if they even know me before, but... It's nice to know that someone likes me enough to follow. Alright, thanks for the death there, game. Always appreciate it. Right, can I try that again now? Beautiful. Is there really not more of you? I like it when there's a ton of you. Or big ones of you. No? Alright, didn't have to do anything. Three Brightons I could do. Oh, we got another one. Ba Bagman. Why do I keep reading them wrong the first time every time? Bagman crew. Thanks for the follow. And also Fluffy Rocks. I completely missed Fluffy Rocks. That's an interesting name. Quite the oxymoron. We are dead. This game's decided to kill me. What do I do with this? Get out of here. Okay. Which way do I want to go? Uh, obviously not the way with the, the shut-off platforms. No, there's no opening that way either. Cool. Come on then, duplicate for me, buddy. Bleah! Oh, you know what? That wasn't as rewarding as I thought it would be. That's a shame. Um, can I get my key back? Okay, cool. It just respawned over there. So are you gonna infinitely respawn? I don't like that generally in games. The re infinitely respawning thing just seems like a dumb idea. Didn't like it in Hey Pikmin. Hey, I love Pikmin, but I'll keep the key anyway. Alright. Easy enough. And we're through to the crack in the wall. It's a, an, another one, because we need more. But this one's g good. All right, we'll play as him. Along with Captain Falcon and uh, Samus. Uh, we are not going to play Mario Kart 8 today. We're not going to be playing with fans today. It's only going to be a semi-short stream, like four hours. Maybe five or six. But generally, this is just to play the Subspace Emissary. Saturdays is the days for playing with fans, and that will be for the like the four-hour slot that we got every week for that. Or at least that is the plan. And it won't always be Mario Kart, won't always be Smash, won't always be Splatoon. Might be who knows what. If there's ever a game that people want to play online, I'll just play it then. And it will be decided for you, but it'll always be a Saturday afternoon. That wasn't supposed to rhyme, but hey, that's life. Oh.
See, this could have been a nice little, um, like, Final Destination kind of stage. Or, or even if this was in Smash 4, I'd be okay with that. Like, just have brawl stages as, like, your actual... St I mean, they do that anyway. Like, the old games get their old stages. I'd like the Subspace Emissary stages, because they put in the effort to make these little stages. So why not keep it in the online play, or just in the general play, you know? This could have been good for you. You could have had so much going for you. Also, there's a lot of statues coming up suddenly. Thank you. Oh, damn it, you're not trophyable. And I missed the other one. Well, I wasn't going to get anything out of you guys anyway. Also, I believe uh, Oliver's whistle deflects, right? Is that how he works? I believe so. So that's quite nice. Ooh, thank God it didn't go to anyone else. They're not latching on, but alright. Where are my winged Pikmin? That'll be right, very helpful right now. Oh well. Spoilers. That just removes it? I didn't know. Oh, that, that freeze though, those freeze frames. Literally, freeze frames. There we go. Didn't know a baseball is all it takes to destroy the guy, but there it is. Don't ask what Oliver's doing. Oh, well, you can see it anyway. Oh! Oh, it's a no knockback thing. Never mind then, excuse me. That's kind of what I meant. Kind of, yeah, like it, it's, a, it's a defense thing. 